Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Planka on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos, a third-party app store. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Planka. It's a real-time Kanban board uh, for work groups built with React and Redux. Um, this is what it looks like. And a fe a features, create projects, boards, lists, cards, labels, tasks, add card members, mark down support, filter by members and labels, customize project backgrounds, real-time updates, internal notifications, multiple interface languages, and single sign-on. So... We will be deploying it on Cosmos Cloud. So I'll be starting on Big Bear Cosmos. Uh, it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and Big Bear Community. It's a third-party app store for Cosmos Cloud. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see the apps in it. And it is synced up with Big Bear Cosmos OS. Um, I did make a how to set up Big Bear Cosmos on Cosmos Cloud video. So you can go over and see that video and then come back here. So, um, I'm going to scroll up to the search and type in Planka. And then now I'm going to go to the folder right here. And um, the config.json is just the explanation, the ID, version, the image, and then the YouTube links and, and doc links. Um, the description has got the name, description, long description, the tags, the repository, the image, the supported architectures, which is AMD64 and ARM64, and that's what the Docker image over here supports, and um, the icon. So now if you go in the do Docker and pose, you can see services and a name up here, Big Bear Planka, and then the service name. Um, which is gotten from the name up here, and then Big Bear Planka, and then this is the service name, and then container name is the service name, and then Big Bear Planka. This is so Docker doesn't have generated generate a random name. And then the image is coming off of GitHub because of the ghcr.io, and then um, the Docker image right here, the Docker image tag, Restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it'll try to restart. And then volumes right here. So on the left side is the host volume. And then on the right side is the app public user avatars, which is on the container side. And then same with the, uh, the next two. And then ports are 3,000 on the host. And then on the container is 1337. And then environment variables down here. So the base URL uh, is HTTP and then your Cos OS uh, LAN IP, which is going to be your Cosmos Cloud. And this is synced up with Big Bear Cos OS, so it will have the same terminology. Um, so you'll just use your Cosmos Cloud IP right here and, and then th uh, 3000, wh which uh, we're, we're going to be using URLs, which proxy into the container. So this will probably be 7200. And then the database URL, and then the secret key, uh, the default admin uh, email, and the default admin password, the default admin name, and the username. And then now networks, so Big Bear Planka network, and that's defined down the bottom. And then this does depend on the service name, Big Bear Planka Postgres, which is this service right here, and then the host name. So now we're in the Postgres service. And um, right, right below that is the image. So the services are right below the services right here. And then the image is coming off of GitHub, uh, coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. And Postgres is the Docker image. And then the Docker image tag is 14 Alpine. Um, restart on failure. So that means if it uh, fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if any other reason, they will not try to restart. And then volumes, so on the side over here, the left side is the host, and then on the right side is the container, varlib postgresql data. 
Uh, so now the environment variables, so Postgres DB is Planka, and the Postgres host auth method is trust, and that means it does not need a password. Um, so now if you go down here to networks, we're going to set it in the Big Bear Planka network. And then now health check uh, to, to, to decide if the uh, Postgres is up and running. And then now container name is service name, Big Bear Planka, Postgres, and then the host name. Now, now we're going to define the network. So Big Bear Planka network, and that's a bridge network. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So the left, uh, the, the left side over here is the icon left. So this is just the app icon. So that's a little bit about the files in Big Bear Cosmos. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're going to start in our Cosmos Cloud. We're going to go to Market. And then search for Planka. Um, you see right here, and it, it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because uh, Big Bear Cosmos is synced with Big Bear Cost OS. Uh, and, and you know it's coming from Big Bear Cosmos because that Cosmos right here. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to install right here. So now you can customize things if you'd like. But I'm going to go with the default. And um, you can also go down Postgres as well. So I'm going to uh, say next, and then it's going to give you a JSON of what it's going to do. I'm going to create. What this is doing is it's downloading the Docker images off the registry, getting extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. Um, so we got everything running. So I'm going to close, and then close, and then I'm going to go over to serve apps over here. And you'll see it's restarting, so we'll need to fix that. So now we're going to fix the restarting right here. So I'm going to go to View Stack, and then I'm going to go into View Details, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Docker, and then I'm going to go down to Base URL right here. I'm going to paste in my, um, my Cosmos Cloud IP right here, and then now I'm going to scroll down to Update Container, so, if we go backwards, you can see it is running now. So now I need to uh, generate a random secret key. So I'm going to use OpenSSL, RAN, and HEC64. So I'm going to run it. And now I have a secret key, so I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my Cosmos Cloud and put this in the Docker environment variables. So now I'm going to change out the secret key. I'll go to view details and then Docker, and then I'm going to scroll down to secret key right here. I'm going to change the not secret key to my randomly generated one that i done in the last segment. So now I'm going to scroll down to update container. So now we got the container updated. So we're going to start on the stack, a bigger Planka stack, and I'm going to go to new down here. So now I'm going to create a URL. So that looks good. So I'm going to confirm, refresh, and then now I'm going to uh, unexpose the 3000 port right here. So uh, the the container will not be listing on the 3000 port. Um, so you'll, you'll be going through the URL right here to the 1337 and pro proxying in. So I'm going to um, view details, go to the Docker right here, and I'm going to change this to HTTPS. And then I'm going to change this to the 7200 or whatever port you got assigned when you created that URL. And then now I'm going to scroll down to update container. So now it has been updated. So we'll go backwards. And now we need to remove the host port of 3000 right here. So I'm going to go to view details, network, and then I'm going to remove the, ho the ho host port right here. And then I'm going to say update ports. So now we've made it to where we have more control over the traffic that goes to this container. So now if we go uh, in, we, we go to the URL, we'll see refuse to connect. This is a glitch with Cosmos Cloud, it seems. So I'm going to go into the cog 
and then delete this URL, then go back to serve apps, then go to view stack, and then I'm going to go to the 1337 right here, go under here, go to URL, and then now I'm going to scroll down and we'll see it's still on 7200 right here. So I'm going to confirm, refresh, and then now you see it's green so we can get to the UI now. So now if you're on the home page, um, uh, you'll see the icon right here and, and you'll see this big long um, wor words, Big Bear Planka, Big Bear Planka. I'm going to change that to something simpler. So I'm going to go over the URLs r real quick and then Big Bear Planka. And then I'm going to go to setup and then name right here. And I'm going to ch change this to Planka. And then I'm going to scroll down to save, click it, refresh. And then I'm going to go back to home. And then now we've changed the name. So now if we start on the serve apps, um, you, you'll see pause, stop, restart, and kill the stack. And then the ports, which these are the container ports since they're grayed out. And then networks, Big Bear Planka network, and Cosmos, Big Bear Planka default. Um, you won't see the URLs right here in auto update container. So I'm going to uh, view, view the stack. So now in this stack, we have two containers. Oh, we have the Big Bear Planka, and then we have the Big Bear Planka Postgres. So now on these, you have update, pause, stop, restart, recreate, and kill the container. The ports and the networks, URLs, and then you can turn on auto update container. And then the CPU, the RAM, and sa same with over here, except you don't see the URL because there's no one on there here because this is a database. Um, so you can go into view details. You can have the same options up here, the image, the ID, the IP address, uh, the Docker IP address, and then health, and then the auto update container, and then now the URL, the monitoring, and um, you can go into logs, and you can see the logs right here, except this one doesn't output logs. And then the monitoring, so, so latest, hourly, and daily. Um, the resources and network. Uh, uh, the events to happen, this is great for debugging. And then the terminal, the, uh, the, co uh, the compose over here. So you can change this and press edit. And then the Docker settings, and then the network settings, and then storage, so, so you can add a new mount, a volume or a bind, and then you can go to the bind and just have a text box to where you put in the uh, path, and then you can unmount, you can update the volumes right here, and then um, you can also add a network down here. Uh, a, a port, I mean, and then a TCP or UDP. I'm going to clear that one out. And then once you add that, you just press, say update ports right here. So um, now if you go over here and you go to the cog on the URL, these are now the URL settings. So, so the description, the URL, the target, the, uh, the targeting, a serve app, and then on 1337. And then the security icons. You, it tells you a quick status of what's happening. And then the monitoring, um, set, set up, name, description, the mode, and then the container name, the connect, container port, container protocol, restart target, pre, uh, a result target preview, and then the use host. So this is what you'll go to in the UI um, to get to the UI. And, and then the use path prefix, and authentication required, smart shield protection, and restrict access to Constellation VPN. And then advanced settings, so hide from dashboard, overwrite host headers, and whitelist inbound IPs. And then press save if you've edited any of this. And then the security section, so authentication required, admin only, spoof host name, disable header hardening, the smart shield protection settings right here, and then the limit settings, and then the custom cores origin, uh, block common bots, and block request without referring header. And then if you change any of that, you just press the save button. And then now the monitoring, so latest hourly and daily, and a request and resources. And then events that happen with the URL, that's great for debugging as well. And then you can filter up here, and you can also export. 
So that's a little bit about the Cosmos Cloud UI settings. So now I'm going to go in the UI. So you can go to it from here or you can go in it from here and um, you can go into view stack and go through it for here. Um, so I'm going to go into it. So now the default is demo and then demo log in. So now you can create your first project and I'm going to create a testing project and then create it. And now you ha uh, you can create a board. So testing board. So now I have my first board up here so you can edit the board and then you can create a new board. So second board. So now we have the testing board and we have the second board. Um, you can go ahead and create a list underneath. So testing list and then second list, third list. Um, so now you can go ahead and create a card. And then you can move the card between the second and it's a little bit finicky. And the third, so right here, you can move it back to testing list. You can also create a second card and a third card. And then you can put it between the second and the third list. Um, you can go in here and you can add a description. You can set set a task. And um, you can mark off that task. You can uh, put, put a comment. And then th there we go. You can edit and delete it. You can uh, set the members, the labels, due date, stopwatch, attachment, subscribe, move, duplicate, and, and delete. You can show details down here. Um, you can go ahead and search the cards. You can go the, back to the second board. Um, you can go up here and you can add users. You can see the notifications. You can go into the settings for you and change your phone number, organization, and you can change your language if it didn't auto detect. Um, the preferences, subscribe to my own cards by default, and then about Planka. Um, so that's a little bit about Planka's UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Planka working on Cosmos Cloud using Big Bear Cosmos, third-party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.